Hello, this is a video about how the brain works, specifically about a process that's relatively newly discovered called memory reconsolidation and how it can make an enormous difference for our uh, physical health and also for our emotional well-being. Uh, I gave this talk recently at the Canadian Tappers Gathering 2013. My name is Lars Claussen and I'm happy to be able to share this with you. Um, I also had my book along, which I believe is only the second book um, that's come out that's been published um, and that's based on this phenomenon of memory reconsolidation. The title is Fibromyalgia Relief, um, specifically about fibromyalgia relief, but really in general about this new phenomenon of memory reconsolidation. In this first section of the video, I'm going to show you how quickly and how easily you can turn off your fight or flight response and have your body in a state of calm. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. This is where I want to spend um, the next 39 minutes or whatever we have. Right there. And this picture and the understanding of it has transformed my life. And I really wanted to transform your life too. But I'm not taking responsibility. <laughs> but I'm going to, um, is there anything in the way of you being here right now? You know, is someone going to, um, repossess your car tonight, and you're thinking about that instead of here. Is the word science bring up anything like, oh, that wasn't my thing, like Claire was talking about in school? You know, is there a distraction in the family? Is there something about, I'm not supposed to be doing this, gosh, you might engineer it, you saw me here? <laughs> what happened to Lars? <laughs> right? So, ICE stands for Identify, Move into a Calm State, and Exchange. That's on your table, we'll get to that later, but I just want you to take a moment and identify. Is there anything in the way of your being present to what's going on here? Take a moment for that. And you're going to find, if there is, that it's either an experience, or it's a pure emotion, or you feel it somewhere in your body. All of a sudden, my shoulders are three inches higher than they were before. These are three of the ways that peptides can show up in your body, and that's what we're going to be talking about. So why don't we just start? Take a moment. Or anything to sort of in the way of your being fully present. Anybody have anything? I'm not asking you to share. But stop? Okay. You don't have anything, find something that's not calm in your life. And all I want to do is be aware of it now. We're not digging in. But as soon as you're aware of it, you're activating something that's happening there in the synapse of your brain. And I think this is related to EFT and the way many other things work as well. Identify it. Now it's active. We'll talk more about this in a little bit, but we might as well do it. Then it turns out if you move into a different emotional state, isn't that what we do with the packing? We identify. Then we kind of move to a different state. I use a different technique now than tapping all the time, and it's paying attention to a single point. So I'm going to invite you to observe this point. And it turns out that when you observe a single point, you don't need to look at me, you just observe that point. Your mind now is paying attention to that single point instead of the thing that you just identified a moment ago that was distracting you. And it turns out this amazing thing that your body, the cells of your body, are always going to be the servant of your mind. For as long as you live, it's a chemical truth. So when you observe this with your focus of your mind and your attention, literally you're producing a different peptide chemistry in your body right in this moment. Do you begin to feel it? Yeah. Amazing. Observe a second point. It could be this point, or let's just give a little space to tip up there. Points don't matter, they're not magic. Some people want to take them home after a talk. <laughs> you can find two points anywhere, the tail lights in a car. So, observe that point. With your mind, the cells of your body are following your mind. Subtle, but you probably feel a little different. And when you pay attention to tapping in those subtle ways, you know there's a difference in feeling as well, right? Now, between any two points is an empty space. In back of it is the wall. But between any two points, there's an empty space. 
I invite you now, with your attention, observe the empty space between the two points. Don't look at me, just observe those points. If your attention drifts away, when you realize, gosh, I'm not observing that empty space, you just come back and observe it again. If you can't observe it, choose a single point, second point, back to that empty space. Now, I'm going to continue speaking, but I invite you to enjoy the rest of this talk from this empty space. Because right now, if you're observing that empty space, the cells of your body are in a non-reactive mode. When you observe this empty space, you are literally observing nothing. And when there's nothing to observe in the outside world, nothing that you need to pay attention in the outside world, right? You're literally observing nothing. Then the cells of your body say, ah, Rudy doesn't need me for anything right now in the outside world. And they go into a different state, the state of rest and restoration. That's Bruce Lipton's cell biologist, biology of belief that's on here, which talks about this. And you just did that in the space of a moment. And when you're in this state and the cells of your body don't need to do anything in the outside world, they're focused on restoration and rest. It means that information can, can cross the cell membrane and get in. Your DNA strand can actually repair. You can take in food, energy for yourself much better because when you're in protection mode, when, you're, when you are worried about your car being repossessed tonight, the cells of your body are in defense mode. They actually don't care in that moment that you live to be 100 years old. They're just helping you to get through the repossessor. They're not focused on your long-term health. They're focused on that immediate issue that's there. And we live in a culture where we spend a lot of our time focusing on immediate issues and the cells of our body are in fight or flight mode rather than rest and healing mode. You can help people with EFT or ICE or whatever process you use to move into a state of rest and restoration. You're going to notice that they feel better. Okay, I just gave away the talk, but I did want to spend our time right here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed seeing just how easy it can be to turn off your fight or flight response and the enormous difference that this can make for your health, both your physical health and your emotional health. In uh, the next section of this talk, part two, I want to show you um, how this happens at the synapse in the brain. This information about the synapse and what an effect that it can have on our physical and emotional health. Thanks.